And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more Space Engineers content for you guys today. A um, little bit happened between episodes, but not much. As you can see, I built another uh, overkill gun turret here. The only reason I went with the upside down one instead of the many good sounding suggestions you guys gave me was because I wanted it to look like a security camera. Like with the white housing and black glass in the middle. It did not work at all. Um, and I actually had to turn the other two off. This one was wasting too much ammo. And that one kept shooting out my wind turbines. I don't know why, because like there was nothing in the air over there, but it took out both of these. Um, and that was really fucking annoying, so they're just disabled. I'll have to move them onto the side or something, or just way up higher. Uh, Goose has been over there working on his drill platform. Just doing the finishing touches now, I think. Yeah, and then, there. yeah, after some some bullying to get him motivated, uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and then my plan for today is to go into space because I was doing mining while um while he was working on that because I'm the host obviously so I got to have the server running, but that ice vein that we found is shit. It is skinny as all hell. So I want to either hopefully find some uranium or just like a large ice deposit somewhere that I could kind of find. So we'll be building a little spaceship. Um, I installed a couple of extra quality of life mods you guys recommended. Um, build vision and build info. Now where's my projector? You can... Um, you can definitely tell that I, I designed this thing myself because it is ugly as fuck. Like, I, I didn't learn how everything worked myself, but the armor plates were me. And yeah, you can really tell. I know I could build a, uh, a ship printer, but I've got a, a plan down the line. One of the few things I actually have planned for this series, um, and I'll need a printer for that. So I'll kind of just hold off until doing that. And then just build one on the location I want. I'll uh, I'll go through the process of hand welding all of this. Ooh, were you engaged in stuff over there? I can hear your little Gatling guns going off. Uh, I suppose so. A couple of wolves trying to have a little taste of me. And are you tasty? I certainly hope so. I'd, I'd be hoping I wasn't if I had a pack of wolves chasing me. Um, yeah, well, you know, different opinions, I guess. Man, we needed silver for a medbay, didn't we? Or is it gold? Uh, yeah, I think, so. I think it might be gold. Yeah, I think you need gold for the medical components. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm interacting with quartz. No, it's silver for medical comps. Which is actually more annoying because I know where gold is, I don't know where silver is. I'm gonna temporarily give up on making this thing automated because it's just too damn swingy. You got all your inertia dampeners on? Uh, yep. Barely sure. I think you meant to turn them all on except for the one that's Connected attached to, to the, the base. Yeah. Okay. I'll try turning that one off first, but uh. It's just jittering around too much for the uh, event controller to decide just what it's actually doing. <laughs> yeah, so it, it just endlessly triggers like a machine gun, and I tried uh, tried hooking it up to a timer block so it'd like trigger and then turn itself off so it doesn't keep going. And I've tried a few things, but it's just not obeying. Ah, fair enough. I may have just angered Clang a bit too much with this one. But that's alright. I'll put a custom turret controller on it and make it just like a line up and then drill down sort of thing. Which should yeah, be fair enough. sufficient. Should be sufficient given that it's like mostly cobalt and iron and nickel here. Yeah. When we chose that location it made sense, but it kinda doesn't anymore. <laughs> Ah, well, if nothing else, we'll get a shit ton of stone out of it, so... I could even just build a refinery over here and make it like a... Just a second production facility. Oh, we do want to build another... 
uh, refinery over here. There's just no point until we have gold. Because we gotta get them yield modules. Love me some yield Which modules. is the irony of needing gold to efficiently get gold. So would I enable it on all my pistons because the rotor is actually a thing that connects to the base? I'd do it on all except for the first piston. Yeah, right. So I'm not a hundred percent on how this works. Neither, I just remember seeing it somewhere. Hell, I'm not even 20% on how this works, I've got no clue. I was basically you know just I... meant to anti shakeify the the enormous shaking drills do. Might have actually made it more shaky. Right. Try enabling that, give that a go. Definitely rigid, but I think I think that's working. You got a hard rod now. Oh yeah. Well, it kind of goes like. <laughs> <laughs> kind of got that sort of nonsense going on. You got like your hard rod. Lightning. You got your hard rod boinging. Because <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic, is what it is. Oh, look at overkill go! <laughs> One bullet kills them, <laughs> and it fires six very inaccurately. <laughs> Good thing the magnesium deposit in that hill is fucking massive. Alright, moment of truth. There was a bit of groaning when I disconnected it, but... Alright, and I gotta remember... <laughs> the, the blueprint I made, uh, if you remember as well, has those two blocks that are just directly in front of an engine. <laughs> There we are, that should charge and generate us some, uh, some hydrogen. <laughs> and then I'll be set. I'd also better... Since you know I am going to do it, I'd better put an event controller so I don't blow up my ship. Oh, I found where the, the missing armor block was as well. That's convenient. That's where I'll put my event controller. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was saying, <laughs> you know I'm going to do uh, my battery disconnect and just fucking die. <laughs> Taking half the base with me first, of course. Oh, of course. Goes without saying. Now, build vision was working earlier, but I can't get it to work. Oh, there we are. Hang on. Name. I do actually want to modify this to have a drill on the front. Not that I can carry much cargo, 
but um may as well right may as well that way if I find something useful I can at least bring a tiny bit back all right I think I should be right to go to space now Um, I don't know what you're gonna do here. I mean, there's oh, plenty to do. Like you could mirror the refinery setup so that we can do gold in one. You could actually go for the gold. You could go visit the trader. You could uh, build a garage so we don't crash into things. You know, it's up to you. Okay, I'll, uh, Mom. Jeez. I'll come barreling back down at some point and see what you've been doing. Probably less than you hope. I don't really hope anything, I'm just curious to see what you'll choose to do. Oh wait, Someone. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, we're not going yet. I just looked down and saw my batteries were only at nine, uh, 39%. <laughs> How long until... 11 mi oh that's longer than I thought it would take. Uh, and are you going to modify your, your rover to carry the drill ship like people suggested? Perhaps. If you do, you'll need, a, need to move your solar panel. Yes. Might have to put a hydrogen engine or something in here. Is that, I'd like some form of onboard power generation just to, uh, you know, just ease my uh, PTSD. Carry the materials to build a battery. Actually, well, we know that doesn't help if you manage to get it stuck in a trader. <laughs> stone power. <laughs> yes. Ah, I've got plenty of room up front here. This is, you know, pretty much all I mean, if you built the floor here so that you could um, turn this into the garage, that doesn't solve the problem of crashing into things. Well, it's nice and smooth for your rover, but there's still all these uh, big poles up in the air. Just don't, don't crash into them. Well, if you still have to worry about things, what's the point of a garage? Just. Plus, be things. because we I use the uh, the industrial storage container. Unless we want to do a whole bunch of conveyors, if we want to expand the storage, it has to go this way. Because mm. there's there's no connector on this side here. <laughs> But there is one on the top. We can just keep building it up. Yep, yeah, I'm sure that's the most efficient solution we could possibly come up with. I think it is. What's inefficient about it? And then eventually, we'll just wrap a staircase around it, and that's how we'll get to space. <laughs> ah, you mean I shouldn't be going to space this episode? We should be waiting. I mean, yeah, screw a space elevator, let's make a space spiral staircase. What, what could ever go wrong? I mean, I can't personally think of anything. Yeah. I guess while I'm waiting for my ship to charge, I'll just... Find where's most straight down to the gold and... Just drill down. You know, I'm, I might just very well build a new mining ship, because... As much as I love your respawn pod one, I, I just, it just doesn't cut it for me. What's, what's wrong with the, the entirely small atmospheric thrusted power drill ship? If you get this up to max capacity and try to fly forward, it starts falling out of the air. No, it doesn't. It was for me. I was just using enough power to fall out of the air when you started moving forward. Were you not level? Aggressively, though. Yes. Yes, very level. Because there's five upward thrusters, and that can hold 45 ton. And it caps out at about third, uh, like 42 ton. 
Well, uh, how about power wise? How much power do you have? On oh, that? plenty. As long as as long as both the batteries are repaired, it's got plenty. I quite possibly hit one on something at some point, and it's not working. But it only goes up to about sixty uh, when moving in three directions. Like, yeah, no, the only problems I've had with that thing since I put the fifth upwards thruster is caused by me crashing into things. Well, maybe I just don't like it. Huh. I think you just don't want to allow it to couple with your cargo rover because I've bullied you too much. Well, I'm not going to say that that's not part of the issue. But... I just realized I'm doing all this with an efficiency one, um, hand drill. I never got a better drill, because <laughs> I never planned on hand mining again. Why didn't you take your mining ship? Because it's straight down. Ah, see, we do need another one. I mean, we could upgrade that one. Even the mining ships you buy from the trader can't handle going straight down. Yeah. They do look nice, sir. Oh, yeah, no, they look way better than anything I'll build. Eureka! I mean, I... I don't have, like, a... Not panning a river, but still, Eureka! <laughs> oh, and how close are my batteries to being charged? Oh, they are. Alright, well. I guess I'll leave you to whatever you're doing and just check up on you later. I'm going to, uh, finally live up to the name of the game. Stop being normal engineers and start being space engineers. Ooh, that's very exciting. And I wasn't paying attention again. Fuck, I am easily distracted. That you are. Ah, well, I did bring... Hopefully a shit ton of ice. Fuck. Oh, oh, God. Okay, some of it was in the cargo container. I thought that what was in the cargo container was all I had of my <laughs> generator ice. And I was like, what? How am I that low already? And we're about halfway to space. It's gonna be the best damn mining ship. Oh, you actually are replacing my mining ship? Eh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, fuck you. Well, yeah. You know, fuck your mining ship. <laughs> you know what? At least I've made it to space, huh? Uh, okay, that's a low blow. Come on, man. You're better than that. Am I? Do you oh, really no. think I'm better than that? I know you're not better than that, I'm sorry. Oh, and yay, we're, uh... I have completely broken out of the atmosphere. That's exciting. Yeah! Alright, pick a number, one, two, or three. Uh, yeah, two. Alright. Two it is. Oof, that's stressful. I think it's actually the furthest out of the ones I could see. Nice. Man, this thing's gonna be a ripper. Yeah, it's gonna rip apart, because you're gonna drive into a wall with your inferior mining ship. Ah, I probably will, but... 
that's okay. These things happen. Have you tried not letting them? I simply don't think that's an option. Not in this game. I don't know, I feel like there's probably people out there that can just not crash their shit. I'm uh, not one of them, clearly, but I'm assuming they exist. If it was possible, I feel like you'd hear about it more. Not crash your shit. What the fuck are you on about? Oh, I found uranium on the first asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that was quick. I even got an autosave immediately after finding it. How, how fast does it actually deplete uranium? Like, if we were to run our base off it. I'm f I think it's fairly slow. Because I know you were saying that small grids use it incredibly slow, but... Well, like, just compared to everything else, it's, it is very slow. Like, a little bit of uranium will, like, do you for ages. But I think it refines very inefficiently. So you got to mine a crap ton of it to get, like, a little bit. Ah, uh, like gold. Yeah, it's like... I don't know. It's very small. Refining efficiency. At least in the 250 meter range I have on this ore detector, I only have uranium on this asteroid. And it is terrifying when these bloody turrets spin up. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the other two back on! <laughs> really panic! I mean, just hearing like 12 Gatling guns fire at once is terrifying. Hey, the most you can have going at the moment is 8. How many's on each thing? 6. So there's six on the one that's still enabled, and two on your rover. Because two of them are completely disabled. Oh, okay. I thought that was, I thought that was two of your turrets firing just then. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, regardless, very scary. I love how last time I spent, like, literal hours looking for uranium and platinum. <laughs> and I never found out before we decided to start playing this one. Am I already out of ice, though? I have a tiny smidgen. Hmm. We feel like it lasted longer last time. But that's Perhaps. probably just me imagining shit. We know how unreliable my memories are. Barely. <laughs> I forgot that GPS marker says nicker instead of nickel. I still never changed it. I just looked down at Earth. I had a heart attack when you said that. What? Oh, I just, I thought you were going to say, I thought you said something else. That would have been a What did you think I said? <laughs> Rather not say. No, I want to know, I want to know. No, that, no, that's alright. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a problem. There we are. Going out into space with your helmet off, turns out, not the best idea. Not generally, no.
Man, can you get asteroids that actually don't have any ore on them at all? Uh, I think so, yeah. Huh. I mean, I'm assuming that... I mean, I guess my... Your answer to the question implies that there could just be nothing, but I'm assuming there's, there's something in there, just not near the surface. Like, surely it's a fucking big hunk of rock. <laughs> It's Statistically be speaking. <laughs> and here am I sitting in my tin can. Far above the world. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do to stop this from being copyrighted. Like, you know, I'm in space, I got her. Well, can't argue with that, can you? I mean, you could, but you know what it's like arguing with me. <laughs> Pain in the <laughs> you know what, fuck it. I actually will go for an unknown signal for once. Ooh, daring today, aren't we? Nope, I'm just in space, so I can just kind of float at it forever. Yeah, well. <laughs> I do <laughs> need to make sure I don't float into it, though. Because <laughs> if I if I just slam into this thing, I will never find my shit. Or my ship. Um, they will both be lost. What's well, about that I finally go for ones and it's one of the ones that fucking run away? <laughs> I'd be so pissed. <laughs> oh, I got another rainbow welder, Riley. I think nice. that's my fourth rainbow welder. <laughs> Tell you what, if somebody wants me to trade them a rainbow welder, let me know. One lucky viewer will get the chance. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone is really dying for one of the most common three cent pieces of loot in the game. I mean, I am. Don't you currently have it equipped? No, you have the... I don't know, what do you currently have equipped on it? Who knows? I saw it earlier, I just didn't pay attention. Come on, any super obvious surface veins of loot here? I love how, like, the, the asteroids is the entire reason I got the all range the Fucking more uranium! You've got to be kidding me. But like, the, this is the entire reason I got the, the fucking ore detector range extender mod. But then I'm too scared of my ship running out of hydrogen, so I'm not using it. <laughs> That's pretty standard operations, really. And again, the only thing I can obviously see is the uranium. Ooh, that looks like a different color. Ooh. It looks blue, but that could be cobalt or ice or magnesium or... <laughs> they, they like their blues. Cobalt. 
her bolt. Almost dying to see nice. more kerbalt. Nice. Yeah, I thought I was closer to it, so I, I turned off my jetpack so I could get the mag boots. And um, no, I, I just slammed into it. <laughs> oh, is that ice on the inside? It is. And this is still. Pretty close to a uh, uranium asteroid, so we could build a, a kind of space base of operations here. Maybe. That's. Either even more cobalt, or I've just turned myself around. Oh, more ice. That is good to know. I think I've found where we're gonna build in space. Ooh, that's very exciting. Um, what we're gonna build up here, who knows, that's not I have very little planned for this series. <laughs> it is a lot easier to build a big ass base in space than it is to build one on Earth, though. Because I haven't seen any. Uh... Energy low. Oh, oh, that's a problem. That's Ooh, a, problem a problem I didn't consider. Just cruising around out here. My energy's running down. <laughs> and believe it or not, it's freezing cold out here. <laughs> Time to go back to the ship, hoping I have enough power left. I'm glad power does actually give you a reasonable amount of warning on, like, hydrogen. Mm. Warning, you're about to fall out of the- what? But, like, this entire time I've used 26 hydrogen on my person. I, I haven't had to use the tank at all yet. That's, that's a very reasonable amount. Yeah. Go get some ice before I continue venturing. And then I don't think it'll be long before I come back down and uh, see what you've been up to this whole time. Uh oh. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> well, I've I made mean... very dismal progress. Hmm? I've made very dismal progress. Oh, gee, whoa! Teleport around now. That's that's not what we want. It's not what I want, that's for sure. Um, um, you're right, I do want you to fall out of the sky and die. You haven't died yet. Mostly because you never leave the base. Yeah, that's right. I'm throwing shade now. Would you start throwing shade? Well... It might be a small ship, but I'm sure I'm casting a very small amount of shade down there. spent like this whole time just trying to find like one block <laughs> can't find it what what are you trying to make 
it was just a mining ship, but like I just had this this one piece, and I was like, I just need a block that looks like this, and it'll be perfect. It'll fill in the gap nicely. I just could not find any block that looks like it. I gave up. Don't worry. I because you know that's the noble thing to do. But uh, to just give up. Just give up. Remember, kids, when the going gets tough, just give up. And get your Armstrongs confused. It's a very important aspect one, of life. One time! I didn't even have them confused, alright? I just misspoke. <laughs> Whatever you say, pal. I swear, I know which one landed on the moon. Okay, okay, it wasn't that long ago. Because I'm standing on the outside of my ship still. Standing on the outside of your tin can? Uh, yeah. I'm hoping it's not actually made of tin, though. Well, you know, maybe tin would make a good spaceship. Pure, 100% tin. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. we'll, we'll, uh, we'll divide everyone by saying, we, saying we want it made of aluminium. <laughs> Don't you mean aluminum? I'm pretty sure you mean aluminum. Oh, look, even even though like everyone at work is Australian, with 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 the old boss, uh, I'd say aluminium and they'd say aluminium. So I just started saying alfoil <laughs> to stop arguments from happening. Oh shit! Aluminium. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I almost just crashed into the asteroid. I don't know if I would have actually hit it or not, but I think I did actually shit my pants. Oh. Ah, that's quite unfortunate. I was just running around laps of the ship, like the exterior of it, while talking shit. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, no, I, I come around the corner again, and there was just a fucking asteroid there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it could just be because of the camera angle it was at, but I really thought I was about to just... die, and lose everything at the same time. And there's another ice asteroid here, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, I'm not going to lie to anyone and say that this is a pretty ship. Because it's uh, a little bit of a butterface. But well, don't worry, I'll come back down and show it off shortly. The crash made me realise how long I've been recording already. Um, so I'll, I'll mine some uranium and, and come back down. Maybe. You're really great. You know what would be interesting? If you stayed up in space until the next episode, that'd be fantastic. Nah, because I want to build another refinery now that we have gold so I can refined gold and uranium efficiently. Oh yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> cool. That's cool. It's a really good idea. <laughs> Quickly hiding your ship in a cave somewhere. <laughs> I mean if it was skyworthy it would be. Ah oh, that's what your rover's for. Just drag it across the terrain. Skull drag it across the ground. <laughs> Which way's the planet? The planet's that way. Which one's closer? Uranium number one. I also think the uranium's easier to access on uranium number one. Check the bonus. Just, there's holes in this ship that I can't cover up nicely. Just get the three different blocks that have the plus icon and I'm sure there will be something in at least one of them. And like it can't look worse than the brick shit house. You want to bet? Do you actually want to bet about that? <laughs> yes. I I don't think it can look worse than this. Like fuck. It's look, I'm pretty bad. I'm not smack smacking down any dosh on this, but uh not far off it. <laughs> oh, I didn't come down too hard before. Um, yeah, I don't know. This... 
does not look even slightly aerodynamic. Look, how about before talking your reverse shit, you come down here and have a look at it. You'll be like, ah, you know what? That might just have yep. me beat. Um, I told you, I'm just, I'm just grabbing some, some uranium, and then I'll be on my way down. Oh yeah. I can only get about eight tons of it before um, I'll be too overweight for my Atmos to um actually allow me to land since I never built a parachute on this thing. <gasps> Something finally spawned up here! Oh! <gasps> And of all things, it's an Incon ship. I thought Parallax was meant to be the one spawning up here. You know what? I might actually... See, they shouldn't be instantly hostile towards me. Because, like, while we have a negative reputation, I'm pretty sure they're only meant to get hostile if we go near them. But Just even still... Like some famous last words up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <t> <laughs> Look, my strongest point of defense at the moment is the, what is it, like, MR-20 rifle. I don't think I'm taking out any ships with that. Couple well-placed shots, you'll be well on your way to taking out a ship. Yep, like, 20 engineer corpses later. <laughs> this is my Mulder song. I wish that I had some more motors. Come on, I got I got you like 45 tons of iron before I left. Oh, I'm making them, but they're taking a while to make. Well, you put oh. the assembler somewhere that we can't put... What's it called? Uh, speed modules. Do we need a... Uh, I don't know, what do we need for speed modules? Just cobalt, I think. We We could build them, we just... Yeah, we, we don't have access to all four sides of the assembler. Well, I'm, I'm open to moving the assembler. Like I said, I was just keeping it there until you finish your refineries, but you just, did that. Just don't move hey, it where I want I'm the other refinery. I'm going to move it where you want the other refinery. I There's will get do. down there and just grind it all off. You know that, right? Hey, you shouldn't have gone to space. You know, I'm going to set these turrets to shoot at you specifically. Can you? Y yes, as far as you know. Well, I know you can target friendlies with the custom controller, but I don't think, I, and I know rocket friendly fire is on, but I don't think um, normal friendly fire is. Just like I quite possibly, I'm going to do the math wrong on how much this ship can actually hold up, and I will just plummet down to the planet. Oh, uh, we can only hope. Thanks. I appreciate the, the wor words of support. Oh, of course. Anytime. Uh, now. Go again. Huh? Huh? Putting the pressure on you. You holding right, up I, to I it, like or...? It. Yeah, yeah, that's not, what I thought. Not anytime. This is my welding song. I wish that I had... A better will do. Well, we don't have silver or platinum. Um, we have gold and uranium instead, so we can't get one. Sorry, ah, you have to well. find out this way. Gold and uranium's gonna have to do for now, I suppose. All right. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully this can make it back to base without fucking dying. Where is base? Base is there. Alright, hang on, let's get to zero meters per second first, so I know there's no sideways thrust.
Don't blame me if this all ends in sadness. I'm sad now. Oh, well. Do drugs. Alright, I do have enough ju thrust with just the Yatmos. To, to... At the very least, slow me down. Like, I'm still over a K in the air, and I'm dropping speed pretty rapidly. But it does use 100% of the power. <laughs> Best be very careful, then. Like, that, that, that's with the Atmos. Complete, uh, the hydrogen completely turned off. Did you turn my projector on? I did not. Oh. It's like half reappeared for me. This game is completely bug free though, you know. Absolutely. They're all just I features. Any. It's such a feature rich game, this one. Yeah, it's not like enabling mods you turn on experimental mode <laughs> to allow them to fuck with the game, like, you know. Oh, 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 important step, important step. We don't want any uranium ore in this refinery. We have uranium ore in the refinery. <laughs> okay, because that shouldn't be able to go back into the refinery now. Man, you uh, you went all out here. That's that's a lot chopped. of thrusters in every direction. Yep, definitely uh, definitely wanted a lot of thrust. <laughs> oh, and if you if you put that uh, oh, you don't have the script, but if you want, I can put that script on here because this cockpit has a lot of screens, so you can display a lot of information on them. Yeah, well, wouldn't, wouldn't mind that. Sounds also, you, you can't expand your cargo ship up anymore like you wanted to. Oh, well, that's okay. We can move this connector. It's actually why they put grinders in the game. That's the only reason? Uh, yeah, in the earliest build, they didn't have them in there, and you just, you just had to be certain of whatever you wanted to build. The only way to get rid of stuff was to blow it up with rockets. Ah, those were the days. You, uh, you didn't steal any of my superconductors, did you? No. Unless this ship's far more advanced than I first fought. First thought? First fought. First caught. How, uh, how confident are you in your ship's verticality abilities? I don't know. You wanna go mine some gold? I'll give it a quick little go. I might leave it for a bit to charge. Wow. No, you, you, that definitely looks better than the brick shit house, though. You reckon? Yeah, fuck it, mole. It actually looks like a ship. Sure, there's a lot of exposed thruster ends, but, like, the actual body of the ship looks like the body of a ship. I'm guessing this back of the large container is where you were trying to cover up. 
Yeah, like, I could have just built it like a, like a box. Because it is a very boxy ship anyway. But, like, I just, I wanted something a little smoother to go here. But there's just no way to do it, because it is a big box that I'm trying to cover up. But, uh... Yeah, no, you know, I think uh, it actually looks decent. And that's... that's all. You're getting a compliment from me, and... Uh, fuck, that's not common. <laughs> that's all I ever wanted to hear. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Alright. Where's the gold at? Is the ore detector on? It, yeah, it's over where I am. Spell. Where are you at? Uh, towards the. I don't know, I'm just. <laughs> I, I have so many more fucking markers on my screen when I look around. Uh, yeah, you, you're coming kind of the right direction. You think you're left more? There we are. Just slightly too far. If you can't see me now, you're fucking blind. Yeah, I can't see you. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and the gold's like 150 meters down into the ground. Okay. That That's that's why I didn't come here with a drill ship last time. Because <laughs> you're going to need to basically stay flat and just corkscrew the entire way down, aren't you? We'll see. Because you gotta, you gotta remember that you gotta be able to get back out again with a certain amount of cargo. Oh god! I can hear crashing already. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got to had no downward thrust, which I should probably fix at some point. Ah, I got no downward yeah. thrust on mine. Well, sure. Like if you uh, hold if you hold down and you don't have downward thrust, all it does is turn off the vertical thrust. Well, yeah, but I uh, I was trying to look down. It started just sort of drifting. It works. You made it into the gold hole. I did, and back out again. Nice. With a full large cargo container of gold. Extra nice. Well, yeah, and a little bit of stone. And a little bit of iron, probably. Uh, surprisingly, no. Alright, I placed an event controller somewhere within the ship. Now let's play the game of Can I Spot It? It's not where I thought it would be. <gasps> Uh, I was gonna put it under the cockpit, but I, I kind of want that. Uh, yeah, that's where I thought it because there's like a gap there. I want that free in case I want to add another drill down there. All right, let's uh, let's see if I can... have you got a battery group. I do. I think it's. Is it the one called battery minor group. batteries? Yep. So. Uh... All right. Um. Oh, you don't have a disconnect button. You just use park. Yeah. There we are. That's working as expected. Alright, and so I think that's where we might leave it for today. We successfully went to space and found some useful asteroids, including uranium. And then, yeah, I just topped it off. I finished off this refinery here. It's got four yield modules on this one for expensive stuff like gold, platinum, uranium, and then this one's two speed, two yield for all the cheap crap like iron and nickel. Um, and yeah, our little ugly ass spaceship. Riley got himself a new drill ship that dwarfs mine in every way. Oh, yeah. And and his rover that actually works and <laughs> with guns that don't absolutely waste extraordinary amounts of ammo like my overkill ones do um and yeah i hope you've enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one